Hello, I'm Christina from Ilan Creative Co and in this tutorial I will show you how to create a pattern brush in Illustrator. These are the four brushes that we are going to make. As you can see, the first one is a simple stars brush and we are going to start by drawing a star. I'm going to use the star tool for that. So just draw your star and then select it. Now go to Windows Brushes to open the Brushes menu. Now from this menu you can uh, create new brushes or use existing brushes. If you want to delete these brushes just select them and uh, drag them to the trash can icon. So select your star and then dra drag it to the brushes panel. Now select pattern brush from the menu and press ok. This will open up the pattern brush menu. So let's rename it. I'm going to call it stars and I also want to change the scale to 40% just to make it a bit smaller and then I will increase the spacing to 10%. Under spacing there are a few options. So this one here, the side style, will be your main pattern. Illustrator also has options for the corner tiles and for the start and end tiles. Um, as you can see, it auto-generates corner tiles, but a little bit later I will show you how to uh, also create custom corner tiles. Now from the fit menu, you can select stretch to fit, add space to fit or approximate path. I like to use approximate path because it doesn't uh, stretch the um, stars. Now if you want to change uh, the color of the brush, you um, will have to choose hue shift from the colorization method. Just press ok to save it. As you can see, our new pattern brush now appears in the brushes panel. So uh, I'm going to test it now. Uh, change the stroke color to black and then use the curvature tool to uh, draw a curved uh, path. Now I'm going to select it and then uh, click on the stars brush. This looks great. Let's also test it with uh, the ellipse tool. Um, hold on the shift key if you want to draw a perfect ellipse and then click on the stars pattern brush. As you can see the stars are perfectly aligned in a circle. I'm going to delete this and I'm also going to use it with the, the rectangle tool. Now here we have a small problem because the auto-generated corners do not look very nice. But we can create our own custom corners. So just select the, the star and then go to object, pattern, make. This uh, will open up the pattern making tool, but we won't be creating a pattern, so just press down to save it. Now double click on your star's uh, pattern brush and then from the outer corner tile menu, select your new pattern. Also go to the inner corner tile menu and select the new pattern. As you can see, the corners already look better, so press ok to save them and then press apply to strokes. So as you can see here, the corners are not perfectly aligned, but they look much better than the auto-generated ones. So I'm going to delete this now and then we can create uh, the second pattern brush. Let's take a look at our second uh, pattern brush. So this one has a dot um, and a star. So let's draw a dot. I'm going to use the ellipse tool and I will hold down the shift key while I draw to create a perfect circle. Let's change uh, the fill color to black. I'm going to select both of them and I will hold down the alt key or option key if you're on a Mac and just drag uh, both of these shapes to duplicate them. So this will be our new pattern. So I'm going to select all of them and then drag them to the brushes panel. So just select pattern brush and press OK. So just like before, I'm going to rename um, this pattern brush. Let's call it stars and dots. I will uh, make the size a bit smaller and also increase the spacing. Now I'm also going to choose an inner corner tile and then set uh, the fit to approximate path. 
I will also call, uh, change the colorization method to hue shift and then press ok to save uh, the new brush. Now let's test our second brush. So I'm going to select the first uh, path and I will hold down the ALT key and drag the path to uh, duplicate it. Now with the new path selected, just go to the brushes panel and select the second brush. So as you can see, this one looks great too. Uh, let's also test it with a circle. So if you want to uh, maybe make it smaller, you can uh, change the stroke size. So let's see. Now, if you use it with the uh, rectangle tool, you will have to um, again create uh, custom corners because the corners are not great. But you can do that with uh, the method I showed you before. Now let's delete this and create another brush. So let's take a look at our third pattern brush. So this one is basically our second pattern brush but with a line on top. So uh, I'm just going to group these items and then I will use the line tool to draw a straight line on top. So change uh, the stroke color to black and I'm also going to change the stroke to 10 points. And then I will hold down the shift key while I draw. So the line has to be just a bit bigger than uh, our uh, group of items. So I'm going to select all of them and just like before drag them to the brushes panel. Now select pattern brush and press OK. So let's call these just stars free. I'm going to uh, make the scale smaller again, but this time I won't uh, decrease the spacing because I want to have a seamless pattern. So I'm just going to change the inner corner to auto-centered and the fit to approximate path. If you want to change the colors later, just change the colorization method to hue shift and then press OK. So, Let's test our new pattern brush. Uh, I'm just going to duplicate this path and then click on a pattern brush to test it. This one looks great too and we have a seamless pattern just like we wanted. So let's also test it with the ellipse tool. Now again, if we use the rectangle tool, uh, the corners are not perfect, so you will have to create custom corners if you want to uh, create pattern brushes for uh, sharp corners. Now, let's take a look at our last pattern brush. So, this one has a pattern, a stars and dots pattern on top. So. To do that, we just have to uh, duplicate these items. So select them all and I'm just going to drag them down here. Now I'm just going to hold down the ALT key and then move them over here. So I'm just going to ungroup these items because uh, I want to change the stroke. Um, Let's also make it a bit thicker, so change it to 4 points. Now I'm going to select all the items and again drag them to the brushes panel. So select pattern brush again and then let's call this stars 4. So I'm going to make them smaller. And just like before, I won't change the spacing. Now I'm going to add an auto-centered uh, corner tile. Uh, change the fit to approximate path and the colorization method to hue shift. So press OK to save them. Now I'm just going to delete uh, these because I won't need them anymore. So uh, let's uh, duplicate our path and see how our last pattern brush looks. So just select it and there you have it. Maybe some of the stars are a bit stretched but if we make it smaller, they uh, will look better. Mm -hmm. 
Now let's also try uh, to see how it looks on an ellipse. So I'm going to make it smaller again and let's zoom in to see it. So these pattern brushes are actually perfect for uh, curved line and circles and you can create uh, a lot of different uh, borders and uh, rafts using them. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe because more tutorials are coming soon. Goodbye!